Well, I finally figured out what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually, I can't upload 16 hours on one uh, YouTube video. But to get the uh, as much of my research preserved for historic purposes, I'm going to call it You Are What You Eat. Um, and there is enough with celebrity chefs and celebrities that they know an awful lot that you can get without me. But unfortunately, they don't have the immune deficiencies that I do. They're not a bubble person. And I have lived as a bubble person for 78 years. And I've made every mistake imaginable. And I'm still making them. But I have so much important experience to share with the world that I'm losing. My websites are going to disappear because COVID-19 is going to kill me. And I have no hope of ever getting published um, through Amazon or whatever. So I'm using YouTube to save the lives of the millions of children that I could have saved 20 years ago if I had listened uh, to the beings, the spirits from the other dimension that are dead and, and whatever it is, God of the universe that sent me visions, but I couldn't abandon my mother. So, um, and it is true, we are what we eat. But it's more than that. We are what we eat. We are what we breathe. We are what we drink. Yes. And we can control all of that. There is no reason for our economy to depend on poisoning us and creating disease. And I'm not unique in saying that. No. The visions told me that when I was seven years old. But I didn't understand what they were trying to tell me. So I sure wasn't that smart. But because I am your canary, because I explode into pain and paralyzing attacks, and I go into toxic shock syndrome from the tiniest little teeny weeny bit of toxic chemical in the food, toxic chemical in the air in my apartment. I am so sick, but because of COVID-19, we're not in a position to move. But I'm getting, oh God, the perfume and the shit that you're putting in your laundry to poison your children to smell good. Oh well. Anyway, this is going to be a separate YouTube program. It's everything that's on my website. I am finished uploading everything. And I'm going to go page one, etc. Each video will be called page one, page two, page three. Um, or page 12. I, I, I'm going to have to figure that out. But right now, um, now I guess I should say, um, you are what you eat. Chapter 1, page 1. Well, I'll figure it out. Anyway. Well, I do know that 200 years from now, somebody's going to find this. And it will save millions of lives. And at some point, you're going to get smart enough that you're going to prevent disease instead of causing it. And you're going to create an economy on technology to make us smarter. Because I was worth millions, and it didn't save me from a fate worse than death, and it won't save you either. I wish I could leave you with something positive to say, but I don't know. I've written so many little poems 
but I uh, I'll try to find something that's positive. Dreams, I'm going to call it. I'll give you this one. Drifting in and out were her memories. Days gone by, forgotten dreams, the love she shared when she had flair, romantic illusions. She might one day marry. Softly the wind blew as it caressed her flesh. Her past, her present, her future meshed. In torment, she slumbers, the sky above thunders, splashing in the waves. Healing waves. Cruising on the great lakes. In her wind sail, she wonders, who next will prey upon her? The wild beasts of the human kingdom. Wearing her mother's wedding gown, softly she breathes without a sound. She murmurs under God's loving caresses, listening softly to her crying in the wind in the wilderness. I am your Cirrus, I hear God's whispering in the wind. Take up the sword, fight the horde, with pen in hand, you shall conquer by my command. And someday somebody will publish my work. Amen. I uh, didn't take my bilberry, and um, I, I'm struggling. I forgot, but I uh, I'm just I'm starting. Um, this is a preamble to what I call um, a summation of all my work um, that I'm going to do in one very long video. Uh, I can't get printed material uploaded onto YouTube so that you can read it. Uh, I keep trying to figure out a way, but they took my ability to create a slide away from me. And I, uh, and, and I did preserve uh, the documented evidence on um, the science, but I was not able to preserve my diet. I didn't know that Facebook would delete me when I die. And I will die from COVID-19. So I am frantically trying to get as much up there as I can. And I have 1 to 39 videos on the Okra Diet for Disease Control. 1 to 39 videos on my uh, uh, autobiography. And... Uh, th th this will be, um, I don't know what number to give it, because it's kind of a summation. So uh, I'll, I'll put it at the end, I think, um, because it's going to be very long, and I'm sure um, only people who are really interested, like uh, nutritionalists and somebody who is a parent who has a child like me, is going to take the time to go through all this. But this diet for disease control works. I'm 78 and I've lived with dying for 36 years in a gas mask. Yeah. So, and I just had somebody that I know for 20 years die perfectly healthy, but he ate beef burgers every day and he was not a good person. And he died from a massive coronary. And I fought with him. I fought with him just a week and a half ago before before he died. <laughs> and um, 
He was such an egotistical jerk. He didn't believe COVID-19 was real. He didn't think we needed a gas mask, yada, yada, yada. He poo-pooed my research. He even went to my dad, who's taken care of me for 34 years, uh, last summer at a dance, and he said, um, does she really have anything wrong with her or is she just a hypochondriac? I don't mind telling you, Dan was really upset. And if it wasn't, if it wasn't for our respect and love for Francine, his ex, on again, off again, ex, she should have dumped him the day she met him. Um, he didn't say too much and he said, I live with her and I keep her alive. She takes horrific paralyzing attacks and it's not a joke what she has wrong with her. She's got very severe brain uh, damage and immune disorders. And he said, and I'm surprised. And he, and he said, Claude, you've known her for a long enough time. You should know that by now. She loves to be out. She loves to be healthy. She loves to dance. She loves to ski. He said, oh, well, I, I, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> See, I get so sidetracked because I'm so upset. I can't get through to anybody. And Mr. Zuckerman, how could you do that to me? All those years and you're going to destroy everything. So I have nothing left for historical purposes. Okay, this is the preamble to the entire okra diet system, allergies, bronchitis, immune deficiencies, chemical hypersensitivities, Parkinson's, Parkinsonism, the list is endless. Okay. And it'll do more than give you a healthy body and a, and a brain with power beyond your wildest dream. Because I went from unable to read or write with the brain damage when I was 42 years old. And I could read biochemistry today. And I can talk to any scientist on the planet. And I have got more information on how to control the coronavirus, uh, COVID-19, than any doctor on the planet right now. Okay? Yeah, over and out. All right, um, this is uh, very difficult because all my research, going back 5,000 years into diets for disease control, which took me 36 years, is going to be destroyed very soon. I will die with COVID-19. Um, and there's enough on YouTube. I'm just giving you a, a very quick background. But I have at 78... May um, 16th survived when people half my age have not. And I've been in a gas mask for 34 years. And it's very important for the children of the future who will be born like me by the millions for my diseases caused by canola oil and toxic chemicals. And what I'm going to give you is... Maybe, I don't know how long, a couple of hours. I've got it in separate videos in chapters 1 to 39. And it is called, in the name, I've changed it a dozen times, but it's called Brain Powering. Powering, I see, well, I'm still a little dyslexic. I should just say Brain Power. Yeah, Brain Power. Okra. Diet for all. And I take you through the steps that has reversed my brain damage. I went from unable to read or write at the age of 42 uh, to being able to read biochemistry today. I couldn't make a sentence. I had to write in funny little prose. I uh, couldn't make a full sentence. Uh, but I could speak. If I, I, could, I could read and speak what I was reading, but if you ask me a question, my answer was in baby language. I had that much brain damage, and I was an investment analyst and quite genius. And the fact that I have researched a person left to die on the streets in a bubble gas mask with the help of Americans and the gas mask company, MSA, is not a miracle. It was bloody hard work and if I can do it most anyone can so I'm and because everything will be destroyed uh, I have to um, I can't um, I can't type all this up on YouTube so I'm hoping that you can slow it down and read and I'm going to take it like one page at a time 
Um, and to begin with, many celebrities today are doing what I'm talking about. No white sugar, white carbohydrates, pasta, rice, or canola crepola. No MSG or chemical additives. And if you can't spell it, it's probably toxic. And if it's from Canada, all the ingredients are not on the label because we don't have the right to know. Avoid imports from countries that we cannot control, like Mexico, China, Africa, and South America. Um, United States has uh, very good labeling. Uh, so it's quite safe, and that's really how I survived this with American help and American food. Um, now, USA, uh, Europe also has some safe laws, but you have to check. Except for genetically modified, uh, everything has to be listed on the package. And if you cannot grow it closer to home, everything should be organic. Imported foods are too often contaminated with bugs, eggs, African spiders, deadly virus, bacteria. Today it's now COVID-19. And um, there is a bacteria from a spider that killed two people in Sudbury and a model in Brazil in just eight days. So, um, yes, we are importing so much and we're so stupid. Now, getting healthy is hard work. I look fantastic, but I'm an optical illusion. What you see is not really who I really am. A side effect of okra system is anti-aging, and it did for my mother, amazing. And I will share in silence, because I can't upload music, uh, some of those pictures at the end. I just wanted, I just wanted to stop being paralyzed and to save children from my disease. Now, this body of mine did not grow on a tree. It was hard work. And despite the Parkinsonism, I look great. Unless I'm in an attack and then I age about 50 years in a, in a, in a heartbeat. Now, okra for life, um, okra diet for disease control, however you want to call it, keeps me alive and allows me to survive terminal Parkinsonism disease. And raw okra safely detoxifies my brain, allowing me to go from death to dancing and crippled to cross-country skiing. But now I am living for the rest of my life in isolation. And if I survive uh, COVID-19 in 20, uh, next winter, I will be back skiing in the wilderness. I have many videos. I have uploaded all that uh, on my YouTube channel. And please share. And by the time I discovered I was being systemically poisoned by canola oil hidden in Canadian food and not identified on the label, although by 1994 a scientist in Washington gave me the research on canola oil, that was in 1989, it was not until 2013, 2012, I was 70 years old. Um, before I discovered the truth about Canada, I, I got a phone call again from Glenn in Washington. He was leaving for Europe and I never heard from him again, but he said, stop eating Canadian food. He was so upset. He thought with all the research I'd done, I knew that. Well, American agencies didn't talk about Health Canada and their corruption. So how would I know that? But if caught in early stages, chronic illness can be cured. 100% most of it can be prevented. And no, it's not easy. You just do it one day at a time, little by little. Now, these first two items took me a lifetime to discover. I tested okra on hundreds of people with amazing success. No matter what you choose to do, eating organic as much as possible, not eating canola oil, and eating raw okra at least two or three a day or several twice a week, and eating cooked not white, half a cup, red Swiss chard once a week is very important for it will detox you. I'm at the point now I don't need to do that every day um, because I have, my brain is as functional. Even if I take an attack, I reverse it very quickly and I'm fine for a good week until the next attack. And that's because I can't control the world around me. Uh, I live in a gas mask as much as possible, but even in my apartment, I will get fumes. 
Now, raw okra is nature's natural amphetamine. Now, I wrote all this back in 2013, so as I talk, I'm going to be updating a little bit of information. Never cook. Cooking may be good for heart disease, but cooked it will not restore memory and repair nerve damage. And my attacks are terminal. One attack killed my little cousin, Regine, nine years old, and I have survived thousands of them. And the pain is like being electrocuted for, through every molecule in my body. But just eating a few raw okra safely detoxifies and it stops me from dying. And within a few days of detoxification, I can ski or I can dance until I get poisoned again and take another attack. Most people are living in complete isolation like me. Bubble people, you don't hear about them. Tabloids used to talk about us back in the early 90s, but not anymore. They're too busy talking about people getting rich and celebrities and the Kardashians. I somehow just live with dying and rescued by people like the Seventh-day Adventist, the Jamaican pimp, hookers, mobsters, mafia dons, and I've published all that already. It's restricted because it's too violent and too graphic, but I have a family version as well out there. Just search around on my web on my uh, YouTube channel and you will find it. Now, my mother at 89 wound up crippled with dementia, brain damage from prescription drugs. And I detoxified her and restored completely 100% her memory until she was 97. That's 11 years of dancing and healthy. And then clindamycin, which she took behind my back, which should be banned. The FDA was kind enough to send me the truth. And they posted, it caused my mother three heart attacks back to back. It took her six months to die, but she died. She also died with a broken heart because my brother had stolen her inheritance and her properties and her rights to the matrimonial home. That's a whole other story. Laws in Canada are corrupt. There is no democracy in Canada. That's an optical illusion. It's fake. The court system's corrupt. The lawyers... Well, they're support, supporting a corrupt system, so we won't go there. Now, Obitrol is a drug that um, I got on the black market, and it is an amphetamine that reversed my Parkinsonism for a period of over two months, and I literally was carried off the plane from Sudbury to New York in a gas mask, and I went from death to dancing. That's also in my biography. But it cannot be remade because no money can be made from it. It's as cheap as aspirin. The patent has expired and it would take millions. So what I did from there, from 1989 to 1995, and in a vision finally when I became terminal again, the words okra, O-K-R-A, flashed across my brain in the sky. And okra does exactly what that drug did and it only costs pennies a day. Red Swiss chard. Now, okra has to be raw to work, but red Swiss chard must be cooked. Interesting. Raw will not work. Cooking somehow releases special detoxifying nutrients that are only in the red, not white. Half a cup a week or every day if you're really bad. It detoxifies your gallbladders, your kidney, and your liver, and milk, thistle, and liver is okay, but it didn't work for me, or do as same as red Swiss chard. I add a dash of organic apple cider vinegar to all meals, and in much of my research, you will see that to I clean with vinegar, but now with COVID-19, I need to update that to cleaning with peroxide, 3% and we put that in a spray bottle and we clean everything and we spray our masks that I made and we spray and wash them in soap of course but my filters are um, better than the filters that the doctors are using and I've also got that up on YouTube you can look that up now um, yeah hard for me not to get sidetracked my brain just is an overdrive okay all organic foods fruit and vegetables as much as possible as little meat as possible. Otherwise, clean with a good non-toxic all-natural garden. Wash before eating. And Google what we call green items. There are many things that don't that 
don't require pesticides to grow, and that's the green list. Um, now, I live in an area where it's near to impossible to get organic. And red Swiss chard, even though it's not organic, it is, it is a hardy uh, member of the cabbage family, and it's okay. Um, now, cooking, as I said, releases uh, special nutrients. Odorless coated garlic pills, if you can get them. I take up to 100 a day, 10 four times a day during the flu season. Right now, I have battled bronchitis twice lung infection once, and sinus infection once, all from the simple corona cold virus, which is everywhere. And I'm not even going out. My partner, Dan, is protecting me, and he does all the shopping and everything. And even with all that I do, I get attacks from a simple cold virus that turns into infection quicker than you can spit. And the garlic has kept me off antibiotics for several years. But the liquid garlic capsules can be toxic and they can harm your stomach. So it is very important. Natural garlic is good too, but it won't do what the capsules will do because they're condensed. And you would have to take a truckload of garlic and burn out the lining of your stomach to now it, it pumps up my dangerously low T and B cell function and if you don't have my disease you can fight very easily with what I do the coronavirus but I would like black Americans especially to listen to what I'm saying you're dying 50 to 70 percent because you have a dangerously low T and B cell immune system because you've lived in for generations and centuries in poverty and a very bad diet. White people mainly live in clean, toxic, and non-toxic environments. So please, share this with the black community. Your children's lives and your future are at stake. Many blacks are perfectly happy to see you die, and although I am Caucasian white, that is not my wish nor my desire. Now, a man I knew burnt out the lining of his stomach doing that, and he died. He took too many raw garlic. That's right. Now, I have tested and taken up to 2,000 milligrams of Nature's Bounty coated with no adverse side effects, 300 a day. I'm not recommending you do that. It was just an experiment. And it worked. Now I'm also so dangerously low, chemically hypersensitive, I use myself as a guinea pig. I do not ask you, nor do I recommend, nor am I begging you to do that. Please do not. Less is better. Start with one and then add until you find the right dosage for you. I wake up sick, sinus blocked, choking, and cannot breathe. I just woke up today at around five o'clock it's taken one hour and I took over 30 garlic pills to be able to breathe yes and and uh, that's normal for me I have been like that since 19 80 80 but um, back then I wasn't quite so bad uh, uh, Mennonites and Seventh-day Adventists had me on a diet that worked for three years, and then I collapsed in 1984. Some days or others were depending on the weather. For me, the colder it is, the more snow, the better. No bugs, no mold, no flying insects. Spring is a disaster. Summer, not so good, and slowly I start to get better in the fall. I mouthwash with peroxide. I have an abnormal pH factor in my mouth and I develop very severe gum disease very quickly from plaque. I have to go to the dentist three times a month, uh, three times a year or every three, four months. And right now I'm in big trouble because dentists aren't working. 
Um, but if you're normal, use floss, use the gum thing and clean. And if you have a sore throat, three spoons of table salt, a half a cup of white vinegar in a cup of distilled pure water. Uh, don't eat white vinegar. This white vinegar is, is simply to uh, kill um, bacteria in your throat. And I switch from that uh, to um, peroxide. And I want to tell you, throat infection, I ha you, if you take a flashlight and look at the back of your throat, you can see little white lines. That's a bacteria infection. And I killed those suckers doing this. This is a Métis recipe I got. Métis are French Canadian natives and a native farmer gave me that recipe and it has worked since 2005 successfully despite my low immune system and gargle several times try to count to 60 and hold it at the back of your throat as long as you can and spit it out try not to swallow it and do not drink or cook with tapped water use only distilled um, you're not a plant. Your body will get no benefit from microscopic rocks, minerals, and water. You will get all your mineral nutrition from plant-based sources. If you are on basic welfare and think you cannot afford to buy distilled water, um, how much was becoming uh, how much becoming a terminal disease victim does it cost you? Put your money where your mouth is and on yourself. Stop buying $2,000, $200,000 cars and spend the money on saving the children from my disease. Tap water cooking releases toxic hydrocarbon in the air that you breathe. Now, when I had no way of getting distilled or filtered water, I put a uh, fan at the window by my stove and I cooked the water until I could and 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 so that I wouldn't breathe the chlorine and have it in my atmosphere. Blue cheese Rosenberg is one of nature's natural antibiotic. Just a spoon is sufficient. It does contain calcium chloride, which is a salt as any salt. So use it in small dosage. Uh, you can put it with anything but spinach. Spinach will block your getting any calcium. Spinach you must eat two hours separate before and after any dairy whatsoever. Now, the MSA Advantage Gas Mask. This is the new one that MSA in Pittsburgh sent me in, 19, in 2017. Prior to that, I had another one, it was heavier, and it had some metal on it, and activated charcoal. And this one is, frankly, that new technology that is beyond beyond. Um, it is a fibrous fiber, uh, and it lasts for someone like us, not if you're working in gas and diesel, but you'll have to change filters more often, but for someone like us, It'll last a year or more. And you can tell. You'll, you'll start to smell the fumes. And if you can smell it, then it's time to change them. And you've got to be very careful that the mask fits completely tight. Now, during COVID-19, I have made masks that are water-resistant and breathable to protect my gas mask. And I wear them both. And I also wear ski goggles because... The atmosphere in spring, summer, fall and causes eye infection. I uh, used to use eye washes. Please don't. I almost went blind on that. Everett, my Walmart pharmacist, saved my eyes. And he got me off all those, all that stuff. He said to me, just take a Kleenex, put a little um, a tap water, because that chlorine is like a bleach, and just wipe your eyes. Don't put it in your eyes, but just wipe your eyes. And if it itches a little bit, and then just go to sleep and let your eyes wash themselves out. Persevere, <coughs> which I did.
<coughs> yeah, I'm coughing up phlegm already. And I've taken a lot of garlic and I'm coughing up phlegm. Excuse me, I gotta get a bit of water. This is me well. Can you imagine what COVID-19 will do to me? No, I, I won't last a day. But that's okay. As long as I get this up before I die, I die happy. Now, um, eyes. I also take bilberry. I don't have that here, but um, uh, I, I think I've got that somewhere else. But it gives me, um, I have sensitivity to light and it works wonders. Uh, so, um, even if you don't think it's helping, get on bilberry, just one a day. Jameson bilberry, but there's lots of different kinds. Um, my um, common-law husband, Dan McIsaac, has glaucoma, and I have him on a much uh, more complicated, strong uh, health product from the health food store with many other ingredients. But what I have discovered is for bubble people and Parkinsonism people like me and children who are like me, uh, multivitamins are really dangerous. We have to take things, just what we need and try to get what we can from our food um, and beverages because frankly, oh, and no fruit juice, please. That's just bloody sugar. Don't get me started on that one. Uh, Really, Dan loves it, and it's very. It's been a battle to get him off it, because you've got to eat the fruit to get vitamin C and its proper nutrients. If you're buying juice, it's been cooked, and there's nothing left in it but sugar. Now, um, yes, I am a bubble person, and I cannot safely walk or drive anywhere on this planet. But being in a gas mask is not so bad. It's better than being a paraplegic in bed. I was able to dance providing they had really good strong air filter systems and people weren't so stupid, stupid as to go there with virus and lung infection and strep throat, which they did, I can't tell you how many hundreds of times to me. I'm hoping that with the knowledge of COVID-19, that will stop. But no, it won't, because people are basically selfish and they don't give a shit. Okay, 100% pure olive oil. Okay, coconut oil is maybe great for your skin, uh, but I only use uh, organic olive oil for cooking, and I take a spoon a day, and I put it in the salad and everything. There is another oil that I love, but quite frankly, uh, it's extremely expensive, and it's an omega-6, and so I don't list it here or recommend it. I only recommend what I know is 100% proven to be the most healthy and the most inexpensive at the same time because I'm trying to work for people who lose everything like I did and wind up on the streets homeless as I did and yet I survived. Um, organic Yogurt every day keeps your bowels healthy and controls yeast infections. We add it to our fruit. There is a supreme diet that I will that I that I didn't do. Um, frankly, it's called separate your food groups. Uh, I did that for my mother. If I have time, I may do it later. Um, but uh, uh, there there are people out there that know about it. It's been around for a hundred years. But, um, yeah, I got to write that down. I forgot about that. You know, I, I forget my own research sometimes, of course. Um, I, and I'm sorry I can't uh, put this in print form for you. I did have it. It's all there on Google Docs, but only Google can act, uh, access that information for you. So I don't know how you're going to access it. I have it on Facebook, but they will remove everything when I die. 
and the websites are going to disappear very soon. So there's nothing I can do about that. Okay, um, yogurt. Uh, goat's milk yogurt is even better, but if not, I can't get it, so I use a dairy organic yogurt. And um, it, it's 100% important because I have severe, severe bowel damage from severe rapes that I won't go into right now. And um, I, I bleed very easily. And uh, yogurt and uh, chia and proper fiber in my food. No white sugars whatsoever. I substitute everything uh, with um, either organic honey, uh, organic dates, no sulfites. Um, actually, I can get dates with no sulfites just at my bulk barn store here. I'm quite lucky on that. And they're bringing in organic pastas, which is not on this list. And and it's uh, multi-grain and it's, or veggie. And it's 100% organic pasta. And yes, it's wonderful and very healthy. Don't eat that other garbage. All that does is cause diabetes and heart disease. And um, so uh, I take about three dates a day. It's to boost my energy, walking, climbing hills. Um, I used to do up to 12 kilometers in the wilderness. Now I'm down to um, two. And that's all I can do. But, you know, I, I have suffered terribly uh, these past, um, since 2013, I also have a tumor. Uh, that cannot be operated on that did nerve damage and I've reversed the nerve damage but the tumor will remain and um, I, I'll never get back the ability to climb like I, I, I did that one year I had one year 100% and then I got poisoned and the tumor did the rest so but I'm still here and I just know somebody you won't mention names 70 years old died with a massive uh, heart attack and um, he was so healthy, he thought he was, omnip he was omnipotent and immune, and he poo-pooed my diet, and, he, and, and I knew him for 20 years, and I had such fights with him, and he wouldn't listen. So now he's dead. Yes. And if anybody's mean to me, I have a saying. I'll outlive the bastard or the bitch. That's how I get even. I outlive them. And I work to save humanity and children from the brutal torture I endured. That's my only reason for living. I don't live for money. Been there, done that. Didn't save me from a fate worse than death. Okay, see, got sidetracked. Sorry. Apple cider vinegar, organic, never white. Put that on everything. It's just so healthy for your blood. Just do it. I'm not saying drown it, but, you know, few drops here and there on everything I eat. That's what I do. And I do the same for my dad. Um, and cleaning toilets and bathroom and kitchen counters, baking soda, um, and peroxide number three. And we wash all our clothes in a non-toxic, no fragrance soap or baking soda. No toxic cleaners, because all that junk causes uh, uh, autism and brain damage and cancer, okay? Should be banned, but you'll never see that happen. Uh, all cleaners and bleach and ammonia, throw it out. You don't need it. They're the main cause, as I said. No strip carbohydrates. White bread, white pasta, it's a killer. Only high fiber, multi-grain, whole wheat, natural <coughs> brown or red rice. <coughs> red is good, too. Um, very, very high fiber. Now, black isn't on here because it's extremely expensive. And it isn't really a rice. <coughs> it's a natural seed from um, the marshes in North America. The Native Indians uh, introduced it. 
and it's uh, delicious. <coughs> oh, Got to take garlic, sorry. <laughs> I'm running out of batteries very soon. It used to last for an hour, but they don't anymore. And uh, so I'm going to uh, try to finish off here on this page. Um, no strict carbohydrates. Uh, bread should be organic, sprouted, fermented, any grain you like. I don't promote gluten-free. My ancestors survived for 5,000 years on gluten, and I'm okay with it. If you have to go gluten-free, do. But for God's sakes, there's, they're not particularly healthy, and they're full of additives. So um, you better learn to make your own. Now, people with colitis intolerance, you have to find what works for you. And no restaurant is safe uh, anymore. New York was safe. MSG was banned. No toxic chemical additives. That's all changed. In 1994, when uh, Health Canada lied and cheated, and don't forget, they had originally cooperated and collaborated with the Nazis to develop canola oil. And so the FDA ban was lifted on it, but it, canola is definitely toxic. It's from RAPE, R-A-P-E, and I've got that research on another video. Don't want to waste time on that. It's poison. Now, fennel, cooked or raw, helps to detoxify bad fat from your cells. It is a good weight loss companion to any meal. Ground cinnamon targets belly fat. Hard to dissolve, though, and I choke on it. Now, a friend of mine was eating cinnamon by the buckets every day, and she put it on everything and what was so funny is, is that she was like 100 pounds and she couldn't gain a pound. And I said to her, tell me what you're eating. And then she started talking about cinnamon. I said, oh, my God, no. It, it, it pumps up your immune system to the point that it really, really does reduce belly fat. I, I've got an awful lot of belly fat now because I, it makes me choke. Um, but... Uh, and that's lack of exercise because I'm so housebound. Um, I, I put on 15 pounds of friggin' f belly fat. I look like I'm five months pregnant. But you know what? I had for my entire life the most magnificent, beautiful body on the planet, and I was gorgeous. And a lot of people never had that one day in their life, so I am not complaining. Dan is so sweet, he says to me. Having um, a round belly means you're no longer a child. You've grown up, Trudy. Now you're a woman. <laughs> oh, he's so sweet. He says the nicest things. Of course, sometimes he gets mad and says the worst things. But, you know, such is life. Yes, we've had a, we've been full-time since um, 2010. No, 20, when I got the tumor, 2014. But we've been together on and off for 34 years. And we have nothing in common, and I did share that uh, in another video. But we work out our differences. He has his room, I have mine. He has his bed, I have mine. He has TV, I have mine. He plays poker, I despise gambling. I work for human rights as an activist, and he is, and I am extremely sociable. 
and I'm in that 1% category that will sacrifice myself to save your life. And he is the complete opposite. But what he does is he supports me. So that means I can support you. So it works out. We have what I call a perfectly dysfunctional, perfectly functional relationship. Yes, as for the cinnamon, a sweetheart, 14 years old in Africa, put me on that. <laughs> God bless that little girl. Oh, I should look her up. Poor child. That was a long time ago. Anyway, frozen fruit and vegetables organic. If you're way up in the north like us, by the time they ship it here, it's half dead. So I have to go with organic. Sometimes I can get organic spring greens, but truthfully, lately for the past year, they've been terrible. Like I say, they're half rotten by the time they arrive. So I don't know. And um, we don't have a lot of organic in Northern Ontario. This is what I call the Atlanta, Georgia of the North. Redneck, gun toting assholes, junk food addicts. Not a good place to live. The only thing we have had was 40 years of the best musicians and music on the planet live and ballroom dancing thanks to the Polish Hall, Polish combatant. But they pretty much died out. They were... Um, veterans of the Second World War, and that's all gone now. And we still have a great big nickel band, rock and roll, an amazing fiddle player. Um, and I have that on video, so I'm, I'm going into flashbacks here when I danced. <gasps> nah, well... That'll never, that'll never be thanks to COVID-19. And Chinese wet markets have to be banned. All wet markets on the planet have to be banned. For God's sakes, feed the people proper food and they wouldn't need wet markets. Eating bats of all things. Disgusting. How barbaric are we? Yeah, but communist China, the worst. The worst, the worst. Second to them is Asia in all Asian countries. And I'm surprised since a lot of the, them are Buddhists too and, and Buddhists should know better. They're, they don't eat anything that lives. They're vegetarian. But I don't know. I haven't got time to research that. Doesn't matter. I can't reach those people anyhow. They're too far gone. Now, um, as I said earlier, raw has vitamin C and if you cook it, you will lose the vitamin C. But, Tomatoes cooked has an anti-carcinogenic chemical in it, naturally leopine, and you c should have a little bit of tomato, tomato sauce, as long as it's organic, uh, every day. Um, no salt, no sugar is better. Make your own. That's what I do. I buy little organic tomatoes and I um, and I um, melt them. I call it melting them because I put it in the frying pan with with little or no oil and a little apple cider vinegar and I make a sauce with it. And I gave that to my mother for years. <clears throat> now frozen has more vitamin C uh, if it's been shipped from abroad. Because by the time it gets from California and Florida to Canada, well, it's been oxygenated and, and there's not much vitamin C left. So you've lost too much nutritional value. So the longer it's exposed to air, the quicker they lose their nutrients. So if you can, buy local. Now, in my area, Sudbury, we have the highest level of pollutants in our ground from the nickel smelting industry. Yes, in 1969, they did the moonwalk here. Um, and that will never go away, okay? And we are spraying by plane our forests with pesticides. All 300 lakes are contaminated. We have blue algae and the fish have cancer tumors. So if possible, I only eat, if I eat fish... I'll get into that later, um, local, 
It's got to be a fish farm because it's actually safer and it's under strict controls. God knows what that poor fish has been eating in the lake. So explore your area. Buy from farmers you can trust. Make it an outing. I did and it was fun. I had really, despite, you know, uh, crippling paralysis and the pain and the, and the brutal torture and the cruelty of people to me, I have had some very lovely days in my life. And yes, thank you all you farmers out there. God bless you. I'm talking the small farmer that Canada taxes have done a real job in trying to put them out of business because they're not allowed to claim their expenses. Yeah, only the corporations. Yeah, see, that's Canada. We're not a democracy. Don't get me started. Okay. Water is vital. I talked about that already. I'm not going to go into that anymore. You can look it up. Um, but spring water is microscopic rock minerals. You're not a plant. You're not going to digest it. And it causes kidney disease, kidney stones. Um, and anyway, enough, enough, enough. Now I'm going to have to, um, I don't know if I can get all this in on meat. This is very important for those that eat meat. Uh, meat and protein list. No processed meat with chemical additives. Um, I, I do get occasionally uh, a, a, a sausage, not a sausage, uh, a kielbasa kind of thing um, from Metro. That is um, artisan made the way the Mennonites make it. It's probably from the Mennonites. And no chemical additives. It's completely natural and it does not make me sick. But I don't eat a lot. If you can find a store that carries buffalo meat, that's a fabulous healthy meat. Um, but it, it has to be, um, you know, organic. Now, organic skinless boneless chicken thighs. That's my number one go-to. You can take your breast and stick it. It's so dry and so tasteless. I don't know why it's popular. I hate it. But skinless, boneless chicken thighs are wonderful. And I'll cook up a huge batch and I make a soup with vegetables for when I and, and load it up with the uh, Mrs. Dash garlic and uh, dried garlic and um, herbs and onion and so on and so forth. And or I'll buy it if I'm really sick, uh, chicken soup. But it, it should be organic. And I will then put chicken thighs, a couple in little dishes, and freeze them. So I don't eat meat every day. I don't even eat it once a week. But my first go-to is chicken. Now, my mother was raised on beef. So I um, put her on grain-fed veal uh, with no antibiotics. But absolutely no beef, ever. No one should be eating beef. Now, if you want to eat beef, wait till they come out with the synthesized meat. Because they are so hard to digest. They're one of the main causes of cardiovascular and heart disease. And I'm telling you right now, I fought with that man for 20 years. That so-called friend of mine that just died four days ago with a massive coronary heart attack. And he ate way too much burgers and beef. And he ate in restaurants and McDonald's and all of that. Yeah. And it killed him. And he poo pooed and made fun of me and he laughed at me. Yeah. In fact, we, we had a fight just a week and a half ago before he died online. He was promoting that people don't isolate. And social distancing was bullshit. And don't need to wear a mask. Because coronavirus nineteen is 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 fake. I gave him such a blast, and I told him right online. I said, "Claude, I am so disgusted with you. You are being blocked from my timeline for life." And I did, and I blocked him. So, if you're in that category, you're gonna die. He did a lot of other terrible things I'm not going to talk about. But anyway, 
I have, uh, if, if I have a beef once in a while, uh, two, three times a year tops, it's um, organic beef tenderloin. I eat so little meat I can afford to buy nothing but the best. And it just melts in your mouth. And I eat a very small amount with, um, with veggies. Now, um, pork grain fed, no antibiotics, organic is also available with Metro in Canada. Um, and I will, same as the beef, two, three, four times a year tops. No liver of any kind. Uh, it's just too dangerous even if it's organic. Because liver is where you collect all the toxins and the poisons from your body. So I, I went off liver completely. My mother and I loved liver, but, well, we would grew up on it, eh? fried liver and onions, oh, yum, yum. But anyway, if they come up with a fake liver, I'll, 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 I'll try that. But so far, I've never seen anything to, to compare with that or give you that flavor. Um, and um, I don't see it here, but it must be there somewhere. Vegetarian, organic, no canola oil, veggie burgers. I eat a lot of that. Yeah, I'm going to have to get through this because it's it, it cut out there. Uh, buffalo meat, pork, liver, okay, I've, fish. No cod, pike, they're sucker fish. No sucker fish of any kind. Pickerel, rainbow trout, bass if available, arctic char, now an endangered species. And smaller fish like sardines um, and no canola oil. Uh, and I like the skinless, boneless, uh, more expensive sardines. And I sprinkle that with apple cider vinegar and um, Mrs. Dash garlic herbs and yum yum. A seafood can be hard to digest. I have stopped using it, but um, Scallops frozen from our northern east coast are small and they cook very fast and extremely expensive and really delicious. But I'm not so sure that uh, they're particularly healthy. I'm not saying they're unhealthy, but I'm just saying they are hard to digest. So um, I don't eat a lot of seafood uh, because I have digestive problems. And people like me, it's very hard for us to get seafood that's safe. And shrimp. Well, truthfully, I don't know. We can't even get organic shrimp, so I kind of stopped. Well, no, that's not true. Um, one store started to carry it, and I have it in my freezer, and I haven't touched it. But um, what I do is I buy it frozen and pre-cooked, and then I take distilled water, bring it to a boil, and I dump it in for just, long, just a, like not even a minute, uh, just to kill off any bacteria. Because yes, I have good, I'm not germ phobic. I am living in reality. And that's my reality. No tuna or large fish. Cheese is high in fat protein, eat sparingly, and it's hard to digest, except for blue cheese. And um, it has to be organic. No fake cheese, please. Eggs, organic only. Vegetarian protein burgers, yes, absolutely. Um, Amy's in California. Uh, is still around um, by the time you see this it could be 200 years from now I don't know but anyway take a look so yeah I gotta go fast because I'm losing my thing and next is complex carbohydrates and I'm going to end here over and out and I'm going to do another one later um, my GoPro has been cutting in and out and my camera no longer will do a video and I can't do, uh, I can't let you see what's on the website without the GoPro. So this is the end of part one. It is one hour and 15 minutes long. And um, bon appetit.